Well, good afternoon from here at 1092 Main Street and Lumen Campus Ministry of Western New York. I am Pastor Kwame and I am the campus pastor for Lumen Campus Ministry serving UB, Damon College, and tomorrow we are hosting Buffalo State Bengals Volunteer Day. I'm really, really excited. We are getting prepared and getting prepped. So as you see behind me, I've got tables. I'll put the chart lined up for one of the two activities that our students will be doing tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. So they're going to come here to 1092 Main Street and they're going to be putting together what we hope will be really helpful bags for those that are without homes and without community. It's really important, especially as it begins to be the changing of the season, as you can tell, we've got a really rainy day, it's been raining off and on, the temperatures will drop. And so be able to help those without community, without homes, we're putting together these bags that will probably go out with our Buffalo, excuse me, not Buffalo, Burrito Project night endeavors that we do once a month. Community of Good Neighbors, of which Lumen Campus Ministry is a part of, usually once a month we'll be doing the Buffalo, <laughs> the Burrito Project with Holy Trinity. That's when we go out into the streets and feed those of our siblings who are out there, again, to make sure that they feel that they are loved, cared for, prayed for, and thought about. So not only are we feeding them with homemade food, but also we want to make sure that they have everything they need. Things that sometimes I think we take for granted. So again, the tables are being set today. In fact, I will do a wide shot. So as you can see here, the tables are being set here for our students to come here and to put these bags together. And they're gonna put them together and we're gonna hopefully do 100. We may not get to 100, but we'll put enough together so the next time we go out next month for the Burrito Project, we will be able to give out these bags that will have things that they need on the streets. Um, and we hope to do this, not, not as a one-time thing, but probably every couple of months, especially as it gets colder. So if your organization would like to, if your organization would like to help us in this endeavor, we need for faith communities or churches to donate socks, gloves, nail clippers, very important, deodorant, mouthwash, soap, bottles of water, um, peanut butter cracker sets or tuna and cracker sets, um, and anything else that would really be helpful. We need items that will be helpful for those who are, again, without a stable or sustainable home or community or someone that can take them in, someone that can show them that they, they are loved and beloved um, and honor their humanity. So those are the important things. So this is actually part one of two of the projects we'll be doing. So stay tuned, you will see um, another video showing our other project very soon. Peace.